The Jerd Nation Podcast. We're going to go around and do show and tell where everybody shows off some of the new swag they got for their man caves. We're going to start with Tim O. What you got, Tim? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's nothing new. It's something I've always had for a while, but uh, anybody loves uh, the original uh, movie Highlander is. Uh, oh, hell yeah. McLeod's sword, baby. Look at that. That's badass, dude. How much did you pay for that? that this baby was in Gatlinburg for, uh, I want to say, 60 or, or 80, one of the two. Yeah, I got it up in uh, my downstairs here where my, my projector and my big screen. And it's not the full size like the like Connor has in the movie, but it's just it's scaled down, but I still like it. Oh, yeah. It'll be a great – that's a great display piece. Yeah, I love it. Dude. I love collecting swords, man. <laughs> you like sword fighting? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, champion sword fighter, man. Uh, Courtney, what you got? <sighs> okay. I got two things, actually. One, by being the, you know, the greatest gamer on the planet. <laughs> oh, <brother>. Right. <laughs> God. <laughs> Only right that I bring something video game related. Oh. oh. Yeah. The Nintendo Classic Mini. Boy, I want to talk about memories on this thing. Memories on this thing. You definitely need to get one, CP, by the way. Have you played Contra yet? Come on, man. <laughs> the better question is, what haven't I played on this thing? How many and games are on there? I want to say it's upward to like 25, something like that. Cool. It's like 20, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> I keep trying to tell people to stop playing with me. I, I do this for a living. Like, this is what I do. Like, games is my life. Kung Fu and Ninja Gaiden. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, and don't even get now, me started with the SNES with the Ninja Turtles. Hey, like, Courtney, did oh, you get well, that thing? Have you got that thing modded by chance? Actually, this is the one I am modding because I have another one that I'm not modding. I usually try to, like, when it comes to minis, I try to get two. Like, especially with the PlayStation, since the PlayStation Mini was, like, so blah. Like, they literally have not stopped people from trying to to mod that thing and let me tell you i like remember when you asked me about it i have been modding the hell out of the one <laughs> i got the other one i kind of just you know you want to keep the original but this is the one that i'm modding current i should i'm going to finish modding it hopefully by next weekend try what's to get the, some more classics on courtney there. what's the price on those things the price, brand new. I think these things are still running over a hundred some dollars. Uh, I bought my PlayStation Classic for twenty dollars <laughs> yeah. from Best Buy when I got it because people were just, it wasn't and, doing uh, well, so they marked it. They kept marking it down and marking it down. It's like twenty. It may have been thirty dollars, but it's probably about thirty. It was cheap. Now, but I thought, I thought those minis were the going for about eighty. Classic is, the, this is one, the cheapest one to get. This one and the, the NES Indians Classic is the one that costs a lot. Yeah, the, the the Nintendo version still cost a lot. The Sega version is, I want I think it's a fair deal. Right like, now, you can get it for like forty or fifty bucks. Which I mean, I think that's a great deal <laughs> considering I've been getting drawn that. It's like forty plus games on it. And then the PlayStation, like you said, is like thirty bucks. But the Nintendo, Nintendo never gonna go down on anything as far as price goes. Does, does <laughs> like, the PlayStation uh, have uh, Twisted Metal one and two on it? Metal Gear it does. Solid it does Rain have. Man. It does have twisted metal. I thought it does it have did. twisted metal. Twisted metal. Twisted metal don't hold up. It, it really hasn't. Like it really, games like, like that don't really hold up to be like that anyway. Yeah, but, keep your memories of that one and don't don't really? don't play it. Yeah, don't revisit that. Now, I take promise. It, the take controls, controls are shit. Up. Take well, I mean, graphically, up. it's crap now. Well, and you then, can overlook you can overlook bad graphics if a game has good gameplay, but that's the problem is it doesn't have either in 2020. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But just like I was saying about, like, the Ninja Turtle one on uh, the SNES, that still holds up well, and that's like a 40, almost a Oh, 30. you mean this, Turtles? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Turtles in time. What's your number two? Ooh, those are so awesome to go through. The Bible of Marvel is in my hands. <laughs> and let me tell you, I would suggest all of y'all get one of these. It is that good. Like, I don't like uh, the thing is that I like a lot of people watch the movies and they 
think they get it. They th- yeah, they think they know. They're like, oh, well, and Tony Stark did this. And I was like, not it's in like, the fucking you know, comics. Because in the comics, like, Tony Stark gets literally ripped in half. And then people right. get mad. <laughs> people get mad when you bring up the comics. They're like, well, this is a movie. It's not a comic. And it's, it's like, but it's literally off, trying to be. The comic. Cody. What's your what's your show and tell? I went to Target and then I got two of these and then I went to Walmart and they had the other two that I want. And Sammy and I talk about NECA a lot. So I got they're they're called Toonie Terrors and they're based off of horror <laughs> characters. Uh, so I got Ash right here, who is my favorite horror character. I got Michael, and I think the Michael looks sick. And he came with a uh, that's really good craftsmanship. No, it, it's nice. He had he came with a pumpkin. <laughs> and then I got nice. I'll show you all my favorite, the one I think that looks the best. Last, I got Freddy. That's good um, craftsmanship too. Wait till you see the craftsmanship on Jason. Jason. Looks mm-hmm. straight out of Scooby Doo, man. Like he does. Kind of these like- are and these are only twelve dollars. That's not bad, man. So Jason was uh, shaggy. That's shaggy what I was Jason. thinking. Shaggy. Like speaking of uh, which, like are those just Halloween things, or do they have that? Like no, new- they they release them all throughout the year, man. They got they have Beetlejuice coming out. Beetlejuice. Um, Ooh. And and. In December, they have uh, Ghostface from Scream. They have another Ash. It's the same one, but he's bloody. They have another Michael, but it's from Halloween 2 with the bloody eyes out the mask. Um, mm. They've released – they have Pinhead, both Pennywises. Oh, I, good I, find. I, what those run you, Cody? Uh, 12 with, like, tax. So, and they're at Walmart, Target. You can buy them online. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, the, I saw the Ash, like, cause I, I love Evil Dead and I was like, yo, they got Ash here. So I threw it in the cart and then I saw Michael and I was like, Michael looks pretty good too. So I put him in the cart and then I went to Walmart to get some stuff for the new house. And I always check the toy aisles when I go there to see what they got. And they had, they had Jason and Freddie. You you guys want to see what I got? got? No, not really. I got two really cool items. Nice. Oh, I want that. Thurman oh. Thomas, baby. Oh. That one went on sale, man. I've been waiting on it. It went on sale. It was a very good price. <laughs> I, yeah, the other, both of them were. And then the other one, the Nigerian Nightmare. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a sharp I, jersey, man. It really is. That should You should put that in a frame. <laughs> yeah, it, it probably will. I think I'm going to actually keep these two. I, I'm trying to figure out. I've got a closet full of them. I'm trying to figure out which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to raffle off. I'm telling CP some of those jerseys he got, he need to frame. <laughs> really, the only one I would frame right now would be the Dwayne Wade one since I got it signed in person. See, that's what I want to do about Kobe Bryant's jersey. Like, I have this, I have this visual of how I want it to look like. You have a like, signed Kobe jersey. No, I wish I did. Shit. <laughs> so, um, oh, I want to. Yeah, I have a Hollywood Nights. Coat see, that's the one that I want it. But see, I want to get that framed, and then like I want to get this picture blown up with his last jump shot in the NBA against the Jazz, just like Michael Jordan. I I got it framed where it's all white except his part is colored in. Man, I can't wait for it to blow up. I gotta blow that up really big. 